going to start by palpating the deltoid muscle here. Um, so the first thing we're going to do is line out the origins of deltoid. So I'm going to have my partners hold his shirt. Excellent. And we're going to start by palpating the lateral one third of the clavicle and more specifically kind of that anterior and inferior part of it. So as I'm palpating along the clavicle, especially as it's getting into that concave aspect of it, I'm going to ask my partner just to hold his arm into slight flexion. Good. And I can start to catch that edge of the front part here of anterior fibers of deltoid. And he's going to relax back down. So right here to here is that anterior and lateral third of the clavicle. As we get a little bit further out, we're going to pass over the acromioclavicular joint. And then at that point, the deltoid is going to start originating on the acromion process. So I'll follow that lateral and then posterior. And then as it goes back behind this angle of the acromion, so from here to here and there, that's all the attachment on the acromion process. And that's the origin of our lateral fibers of deltoid. So I'm gonna ask my buddies to hold his arm into abduction. And we can see that lateral head. Let's bring his arm back down. Okay, and just start to raise it again. Perfect, and back down. And the last part of the origin is on the posterior aspect for the posterior kind of head or fibers of deltoid, and that's along the spine of the scapula here. So again, that acromial angle, I can easily follow the spine all the way back towards its origin at the root of it. And I'm gonna ask my partner to do a little bit of external rotation and a little extension. And you'll notice a lot of rotator cuff muscles starting to stick up. So we're gonna derotate him a little bit and ask him just to hold his arm in the air, good. And now I can kind of sink in and start to pull up that posterior deltoid fibers. So again, origin along that spine of the scapula here as the fibers start to work their way down. So we'll continue with that posterior head. As I'm palpating, it's gonna round out to the lateral aspect of the humerus. And we'll follow the same thing with the medial head. So I'm gonna mainly grab this muscle belly. You can see as I'm kind of squeezing and lifting it up, a lot of its fibers start to taper to a point. And then as they come together, we're gonna to insert here on the humerus. So it's approximately halfway down the lateral aspect of the humerus on what is known as the deltoid tuberosity. I'm gonna sink in, kind of cross fiber back and forth. I feel a little tendinous bit here. I'm gonna ask my partner to do a little bit of abduction and that tendinous part tightens right up. So again, that's the insertion. So the anterior fibers to the posterior fibers. So this is the entire deltoid kind of being picked up as it inserts here on the deltoid tuberosity. So let's talk about some of the functions of the deltoid. <clears throat> We've already used a few of them, but we're just gonna connect some of the dots. So the anterior fibers specifically are going to be doing some flexion. They're gonna be doing medial rotation and what is typically called horizontal adduction. So as one unit, it would bring the arm kind of up and across doing all three of those things together. Uh, the middle fibers primarily only have one big action and that is abduction of the arm at the glenohumeral joint. And our posterior fibers, they're going to be doing, again, three, kind of opposite of the anterior and the fact that they're gonna extend the arm, externally rotate the arm, and do horizontal abduction, horizontal abduction, like so. 